Hello everyone, this is Fred. Today I'm going to introduce some useful Obsidian plugins that I really like and hope you will like it too. So let's dive in. This is a new vault that I created just now and I have several example files here and example notes. Okay, so um, some people has asked um, that when they added several files, how can they quickly know and quickly go back to the one they just visit or they just just visit? They just just added. Actually, you need some extra plugins to achieve that function. So first, you go to settings, come into plugins, and remember to turn off the save mode. You can go to community plugins, browse, and type recent, recent files. You can see some description here. As you can see, you can get a recent log of the files you just added here and it will be super useful and remember to enable it let's see okay it will appear a clock here uh, normally i will just make it to the, to the left bottom part okay for example i just want to edit test 3 file it will show up here when I jump to test 5, test 4, and I want to go back to test 3, I can just press here. Yeah. So you can um, easily to get in and go out in different nodes. Okay. And, uh, the second one is... Um, I write some animals here and for example I have them tag as animal one, animal one, animal one, animal one, animal one. Um, how can I see these tags? First of all we have to go to settings, core plugin, and turn the tag pane on. So you will show here. Animal one, and uh, I also have some animals in the test two nodes. What if I want to change the tag name? Should I change one by one here? I don't think so. You'll be really, really crazy once you have a lot of files with the same tag how can we do that? And I cannot right click anything here okay. so let's go to settings community plugins browse type tag and there is a tag Ragnar remember to download it enable Okay, let's see. Now you can right click and rename it to animal. Let's test two. This one also changed. This is super cool. That saved a lot of time. The third one is, um, what if I want a feeling that is quite simple to type power of. This kind of thin mode 
on. This kind of writing machine, typewriter machine feeling. Can it be achieved in obsidian? No, it cannot. But by installing typewriter scroll obsidian will be remember to enable it. Function. What if you want to stop the Zen mode? Just go to the command P and select command and turn it on. So the scroll function still exists, but Zen mode just be turned off. Okay. The fourth one is when your file will become larger and larger. For me, it's a little bit messy that it's all extend out. How can I collapse them just by one click or one hotkey? Is it possible? Yes, you can do it. I go to Collapse All and uh, download it and enable it. And uh, you can go to the hotkey to change it. For example, this is how I use my hotkey here. Command, Control, Left, and Right. You can go to the hotkeys and then do it here. Command, Control, Left. Yeah. It's like Command, Control, Left. Command, Control, Left. far more easily for you to be all these files and notes. Okay. Um, the fifth one is that today how can I write all this number list quickly? If we don't have any plugins, we have to use command P in the bullet toggle in the list. Command P number list. I don't want to do it every time. So Again, go to community plugins, browse, and then we can find the hotkey plus plus. Enable it. Download it. Enable it. Okay, and now we can, by using shift command M, pull the list, shift command M, number list, shift command M. Test. Test done. Pull the list. If you forget how to use it, how to use it, just go to hard keys and see. Again here. Okay. For example, you can also use the embedded internal links and block code. Let's see now.
Control Command B. It's okay. To do the internal combine block code. Okay. I think the embed internal links just mess up with others. You can change the hotkey by yourself. So I won't do it here. Okay, then the last one is as we know markdown format you can do all this heading one two three comfortable for me but there is a really cool thing that you can use it markdown formatting assistant by enablement you can use it this way type something slash and choose type something slash These are several plugins I really like in Obsidian and can help you to have a much faster um, workflow during your, your creation, during your note taking system. Thank you very much. See you next time.